Esteemed citizens of Russia, dear veterans, soldiers and sailors, sergeants and petty officers, ensigns and warrant officers, officers, generals and admirals, I congratulate you on the day of great victory, the defense of the motherlands when its fate was at stake, that was always sacred. Those feelings of real patriotism drove volunteers of the Minin and Pazharsky militiamen. They fought on the Borodino field. They fought outside Moscow, Leningrad, Kiev, and Minsk, Stalingrad, and Kursk, Sevastopol, and Kharkiv. It's the same now. In these days, you're fighting for our people in Donbass, for the security of our motherland, Russia. The 9th of May, 1945, entered world history forever as a triumph of our unified Soviet Union, its unity and spiritual might, unprecedented feats of heroism at the front and at the home front. The day of victory is close to each of our hearts. There is no family in Russia which wasn't scored by, scorched by the great patriotic war. Its memory doesn't fade. Today, in the ranks of the immortal regiment, great-children and great-grandchildren of those warriors march. They carry the photographs of their forefathers who will stay forever young and the veterans who are no longer with us. We are proud of the generation of victors and that we are their inheritors. And our duty is to preserve the memory of those who defeated Nazism, who gave us the behest to be alert and to make sure that the horror of a global war will never be repeated. And that's why, despite all the differences in international relations, Russia has always uh, been for the creation of the security of equal and uh, reliable, the security that's needed by the whole world community. In December last year, we proposed to make a treaty of non-security guarantees. Russia called for a search for and compromise solutions, but that was in vain. NATO countries didn't want to hear us, and this means that in reality they had quite different plans, and we saw that. They were openly preparing another punitive operation in Donbass to an aggression against our historical lands, including Crimea. There were calls in uh, Kiev about the possible acquisition of nuclear weapons. The NATO alliance began to move into their troops into our neighboring territories, and they were creating an, an unacceptable threat to us right at our borders. Everything pointed to the fact that uh, a clash with neo-Nazis and Banderavites, on whose uh, the United States and the, their minions uh, state was inevitable. We saw them unfolding a military infrastructures how uh, hundreds of military advisors began to work and how regular supplies were being made of weapons. The danger grew every day and the Russia delivered a preventive strike against the aggressor. That was uh, a forced, timely and the only correct decision. The decision of a sovereign, strong and independent country. The United States of America, especially after the collapse of the Soviet Union, began to talk about its exclusivity, and they accumulated with that not just the whole world, but their satellites as well, who now have to pretend that they don't notice anything and swallow everything patiently. But we are a different country. Russia has a different character. We will never give up our love for our motherland from our faith and our traditional values and the traditions of our ancestors from the respect for peoples and cultures. But in the West, they decided to cancel this value. Such moral degradation 
was uh, based on the cynical distortion of the Second World War and the mistreatment of the memory of uh, the victim, the cancellation of the courage of those who and this victory. We know that the American vector, veterans who wanted to come to the military parade in Moscow were prohibited from doing that. But I want them to know we are proud of your feats of heroism and your contribution to the shared victory. We honor all the warriors in the Allied uh, armies, the English, the French, the Americans, the partisans of China, all those uh, who defeated Nazism and militarism, esteemed comrades. Today, the militiamen of the Donbass, together with Russian servicemen, are fighting on their land, where the militiamen of Svetoslav and Manamakh, Rumyantsev and Potemkin, Suvorov and Brutilov defeated the enemies, where the heroes of the, second, of the great patriotic war stood. I address our armed forces now and the militiamen of Donbass. You are fighting for your motherland, for its future, so that nobody will forget the lessons of the Second World War, so that there will be no place in the world for punishers and Nazis. Today we bow our heads to the blessed memory of those whose lives were taken by the great patriotic war, to the memory of sons, daughters, fathers, mothers, grandfathers, husbands, wives, brothers, sisters, relatives, and friends. We bow our heads to the memory of the martyrs of Odessa who were burnt alive in the trade union building in May 19, 2014, to the memory of uh, women and old people and children in Donbass who died in the under the shelling of Nazis. We bow our heads to our comrades in arms who fell in the righteous battle for Russia. Let us observe a minute of silence. Dear comrades, the death of each of our soldiers and officers is a tragedy for all of us, an irreplaceable loss to their families. The states, the regions, the companies, public organizations will do everything to care for those families and help them. And a special support will be provided to the children of the fallen comrades in arms and those wounded. I have signed an order to that effect today. I wish speedy recovery to the wounded soldiers and officers. And I thank doctors and nurses, medical personnel in military hospitals for their courageous work. I bow my head to you for fighting for each life, very often under the shelling on the front line without sparing your own life. Dear comrades, here now on Red Square, <coughs> shoulder to shoulders, soldiers and officers are standing here from many regions of our huge motherland, including those who arrived here straight from Donbass, directly from the war zone. We remember how Russia's enemy tried to use against us the gangs of international terrorism. They tried to sow international and religious enmity to break us, to weaken us from inside, but they failed. Today, our warriors from of different ethnicities are fighting together in the battle. They shield each other from bullets and uh, fragments and shrapnel as as brothers, and this is the strength of Russia, the unbeatable strength of our multi-ethnic nation. Today you are defending what our 
fathers, grandfathers, and great fathers fought. For them, the highest meaning in their life were the, their motherland's uh, prosperity and safety. And for us, their descendants, our loyalty to our motherland is the greatest value and the greatest uh, basis of Russia's independence. Those who defeated Nazism during the Great Patriotic War showed us an example of heroism for all times. This is the generation of victors, and we will always uh, take the example. Glory to our glorious uh, armed forces for Russia, for victory. Hooray!